come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Welcome back to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Or if this is your first Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, Welcome aboard. Hey. Uh, what we are is kind of a book club for movies, where a group of us sit down in a basement, and each week a movie is chosen round robin by one of the group, and they force the rest of us to sit in judgment of it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we're like chained down, made to watch. Kind of. Some bullshit. Yeah. So you're going to ask yourself, who are these internet radio superstars? Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And uh, as a public service announcement, we want... Oh, yeah. First of all, Holly is off tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, And second, uh, in the month of January 2019, Uh. depending on you folks in the future have already missed this, but uh, (laughs) if you're keeping up with this in current time, (laughs) real time, uh, we are going to do four episodes that will be listener's choice. And so what we want you to do as you're hearing this episode... In uh, probably December of 2018, Mm -hmm. go over to our Facebook page, which you can find us at Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show uh, or our Twitter account at Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can find us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show and recommend us a movie. And we're going to. Any movie. Any movie, we have a movie you want us you want us to review mm-hmm. and watch on this show. And what we're going to do, we're going to put it up for uh, like a Facebook poll or something. And you guys will also choose uh, which mo- which four movies we're going to watch. Right. So this time it's totally up to you. That's Last right. Last time yeah. you gave us a list and we picked from a list. Mm-hmm. This time, no matter whether we like it or not. You get yeah. to choose the movies that <laughs> this we could watch. Could go horribly wrong for horribly us. Horribly yep. wrong. So Don't game do the by- system <laughs> and give us some bullshit. Just, you know, are, are you saying people are going to make like sock accounts, just keep voting and voting? You know for, what? Like, their I one hope choice. So. <laughs> because that means we've reached a certain level where people are like, I got to get my, this shit in. I got to make multiple we the, accounts. We're just going to do top four. Top four vote. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think so. Top four yeah. vote getters. Top four we'll get it, vote yeah. getters. We're going to watch. Yikes. Okay. okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's very I'm a yikes. Feared. It can't be anything that we've already done. No. And I'm watch uh, Rawhead Rex again. And we no. would prefer that it not be a TV film. That it was not a movie made for television. Mm, Preferably we've not. We've done some I TV mean, movies you know. in the past. Sure. So. We did Sharknado. That, it? That's true. Well, yeah. yeah, we did it. it. And we did well, another we one, Well, we really too. did the 2018 it. Yeah, we, we watched the original and talked about both of That's them. True. We watched Very both true. and talked about both. But so, we would prefer kind of probably a theatrical release. Um, <laughs> so... That brings us to tonight's entertainment. Mm-hmm. Uh, we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean, what did we watch tonight? Uh, well, we're getting into the uh, shopping season, obviously, like I said last week. So I figured we'd watch uh, the quote-unquote classic, the renowned uh, Chopping Mall. <laughs> <laughs> this is some very generous accolades you gave. I, yeah. No, I'm just giving... I think other people have labeled these movies this. Really? I, I think people I think so know the name renowned. of this movie. It's known. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no I mean, it's a known movie. I think because there's a lot of these movies that came out in the heyday of VHS, when VHS was really, like, taking off. Yep. Uh, that They got to know movies that necessarily weren't big box office successes, because correct me if I'm wrong, this was not a box office success. True. But it became a cult item on uh, on VHS because there yes. just wasn't a whole lot of content. And then eventually by the time you got to like Charles Band in the picture uh, and by the closer you got to like 19, the mid nineties, there was tons of VHS yeah. direct to VHS movies. Yeah. But this one was theatrically produced. It was, it was uh, released in theaters originally uh, 86, 86 um, under the title Killbots first and foremost. And it was also 15 minutes longer back then. Didn't Ooh. do so well under that title because they figured Killbots would turn people off as to coming to see this movie. So uh, they took out, edited out 15 minutes uh, and re-released it under Chopping Mall. Uh, re-released it theatrically or was that its video tape? Oh, yeah? I think theatrically. I think they re-released it theatrically for a little while under Chopping Mall. On, yeah, under Chopping Mall. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure. Because it wasn't in theaters under Killbots for very long. And I made it did better that way, but it did majorly better on home video and everything, like you said, VHS and all that stuff. Yeah. And but again, shorter movie because this movie is only like seventy six minutes long. Oh yeah, short movie. Oh. 
I can't imagine what they cut out of this. Well, perhaps if we have the Vestron video release, because didn't Vestron, the they newly did. resurrected Vestron video. This is one of the first the, ones that they released under that new title. Because it's, I think the title is like, this is the one that uh, people clamor for. They clamor. I, I guess. For Chopping Mall. Sure. I can think of at least one thing wrong with that title. A lot, a lot of things wrong with the title. <laughs> uh, the title might be my biggest issue with this movie. Like, <laughs> Funny enough, the cast doesn't like it either. Yeah, they all express they're, just, they're like we don't like it. And I don't understand. It's why a good it's title. It's just not appropriate it's a, for this uh, movie. Yeah. It's, right. just, uh, Great title. it's the no wrong chop. movie attached. No chop. Not them all. The, no chop. That's the thing. Like the poster for this movie is wildly misleading as well. Right. It's like, like a robot hand holding a bag. But, but the bag is like full of organs and like eyes and like right. chopped off hands and stuff. And like to me that says like it, uh, slasher, slasher in a mall. Movie. Yeah, yeah, like right. intruder in a mall is what yeah. I'm expecting. At least with movies like Sorceress, there was a fucking lion pterodactyl on that shit. And that movie, there was a fucking lion pterodactyl. <laughs> so you know, you know what you're getting looking at that poster going, and you're like, "Oh shit, they delivered." That's right. This Why did, did you not. bring Sorceress up? Uh, that's a strange out of left field. Uh, oh, uh, also directed by Jim Wynorski. Who's that? He's uh well I mean he's a very famous director he's uh, I think loved <laughs> loved on I'm this podcast <laughs> Michaela's he's uh, famous. Sean's famous. like Sean's like trust famous. me guys he's Tr- really famous he's famous in certain circles we'll say uh, the average moviegoer would not know who Jim Wynorski no, but- is by name. I agree that he is a force to be reckoned with, only I because so. the guy has at least a hundred movie credits. There's it's three like guys. Okay, in there's three guys that immediately come to mind. And listener, you'll have to help me out if there are some more. But these three guys, you tell me if you have heard their name. Well, there's Jim Wynorski, uh-huh. there is Albert Pune, mm-hmm. and there is David Dakota. And these fuckers make these direct to video. I mean, well, they all started out making actual theatrical movies right. in the in the eighties, right? Legit, and then, quote unquote, legit shit. And have made. Uh, they've just been slumming it in. You know, the Piranacondas. I think that's Jim Wynorski. That's Jim Wynorski. Yep. Uh, the Beach Babes from Beyond. Mm-hmm. The uh, whatever the hell. Wasn't I there mean, a Slumber Party Massacre poster on the wall in that diner? With all of his other movies? Like, oh, wait a second. Did he did Wynorski, Slumber Party Massacre 2. That one that we watched. watched. The one yeah. we watched on this one. So this one. is the second Wynorski movie that we've done on this Ooh, show. Oh, he's almost no, on the wall. We, we, we did Sorceress. He's on the wall. He's on the wall. Yes, well, Jim Wynorski is aboard. on the wall. Jim Wynorski. So. I was going to say, he should have gotten it long before now, I feel like. For, uh, he's uh, Let's put it this way. He's more deserving than some people we have. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some people just got in there by happenstance. Yeah. Well, but he's he a workhorse. It. He is still going. Um, well, he made the Return to Swamp thing. I remember. Yep. I'm going to call that one out because that was a personal favorite of right. my, <laughs> from uh, back in the day. He did the back to backs of Sword of House Massacre Two and Hard to Die. Uh, Hard to Die was basically Sword of House Massacre Two with the same cast, but in a high rise. Oh, okay. I think we yeah we may have talked. We about talked that about that. The- uh, nine six. Oh yeah, we've talked about his. I just love going over his, over his filmography because it's, it's the titles alone are the greatest thing. Yeah, in the but world. the newer ones have the like. Oh uh, my god, scared topless cleavage field. Yep, scared topless. <laughs> yeah, the bear wench project. Bear wench project. His- yes, not of this earth with Tracy Lords. With Tracy I didn't Lords, realize yeah. he did that. Shark and saw women's prison <laughs> massacre. <laughs> <laughs> scared topless. Yep, sexapede. It's like centipede, but yeah, with sex. Yeah. What, oh yeah, why God. has he not made the wall sooner? There's, these sound like great movies oh, yeah, we should yeah, all yeah, be like watching. Camel spiders, well, because uh, some of these are like so... Busty Cops Go Hawaiian. <laughs> okay, that I'm down. That was after just Busty I'm, Cops. I'm in. <laughs> but didn't he do like... The hills have thighs. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. Isn't... Uh, is Pr- Pranacon is his though, right? Pranacon is his. And like Dino Croc or whatever some of those yeah. like uh, mashups that were on Sci-Fi Channel. Those for vamp- Yeah, Vampire in Vegas. Okay, uh, th- are they like half of these porn parodies? The because their co-ed. titles are all very I think, but this is the like thing. With lots of nudity. Like, they're, yeah. So they're like, they're like softcore porn yeah. parodies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are Cinemax... Gotcha. Like they, they would gotcha. license the Jim Wynorski collection, yeah. basically. And just the, the one that, that really caught my eye was the Bear Wench Project, yeah. which is a Blair Witch Skinamax parody. Apparently. Right. We discussed this last time, but I don't think you were here for it. Um, I, I've, I've worked with at least like three actresses who have been in oh, his movies. One yeah. of them was in Bear Wench Project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, know, these pretty, titles pretty are pretty great. That. Yeah, so I mean, his MO is... But he also... Okay, so I know Dakota also does the same type of things. Mm. But he has also done, like, you know, Hallmark movies and shit like that. Is Wynorski, he also do, like, kids movies and Hallmark movies and... He's not just, by looking at his IMDb no, no. Oh, dude, Jim uh, Wynorski also did, like, we were talking on one of the episodes about all those movies with uh, Andrew uh, Stevens and Shannon Tweed. 
We did talk about that. He yeah. did a shitload of those. I think he was did. stripped that to was kill a, his, or you know, I think I was just looking at that. Like he in the nineties, it kind that of that was like I said. I think I said this last time. Shannon Tweed was her own genre in the nineties. Yeah, 90s. yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. you couldn't walk down the aisle without seeing something of hers. Yeah, and I think it feels to me like he did several of those movies. I'm also. sure he did. Lost Woman, Body Chemistry Four. Yeah, Body Chemistry. Hard. Remember, all the Body Hard Chemistry. Body. There's four of them. I mean, come on. Right. And he did Ghoulies Four. That was one where they went from puppets to uh, dwarves. Oh, as uh-huh. far as the Ghoulies yeah, go, they ran out of money. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Munchie Strikes Back. And right. He also did Munchie. Okay. Oh my God. Little Miss Williams. Sins of Desire. There's Munchie. Scream Queen Hot Tub Party. Yeah. Mm. I mean, these all sound like must watch films. Uh, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> well, there's a the thing. I think, like, here's the thing. Back in those days, we didn't have the internet. And so you couldn't have free pornography. Right. And so, and I guess porn. You had the scrambled channel, right? Yeah, you had the scrambled channel. <laughs> and so they would make these things that were softcore with lots of nudity, like, no, you know, uh, they weren't like hardcore sex movies. Yeah. They were just like mm-hmm. these kind of funny romps, or they just filled these movies with, like, you know, mm-hmm. boobs from wall to wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he was one of the prime purveyors of this kind of uh, entertainment. Yep. Um, and still is, apparently. Still uh, is. What's the last Megan? thing he made? Let's look at that. Well, the last thing he made was Nessie and Me, two thousand seventeen. Like it does well, and a dog on Hollywood. That's a kids movie. See? Like I, he made, he's, he's yeah, but been it wasn't until movies. recently that it looks like at least right. That's those through, are the like, only two because the one before that was very Le- Legend of the Naked Ghost. Yeah. So he only re- a dog on Christmas. So he does make a kids yeah, movie every yeah. now and again. Somehow and these Jesus guys Christ. also. I think that's the same with Dakota. I don't know if Pun Pyun is Ever still. Pyun? He, is he making kids movies too? And I don't know. Like, I know he's still making because I. Uh, he was like an action sci fi right. fantasy kind of. Did like he Sword make Mean and Sorcerer. Guns? Yes. Albert Pyun made Mean Guns. Yes. He's still making movies like that. I, there's an actress friend of mine who just did a movie with him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He did Cyborg. The, uh, oh, Jean-Claude, Jean-Claude Van Damme? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh, that's got to make its way into here at some point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For as much as you keep talking about <laughs> it. We can pass. On. I don't it's, think we will. That might be Albert It's not the movie you think it is. It's really not. Albert Pyun is a masterpiece? Well, it's either that or Sword and the Sorcerer. I mean, I don't know. If you look about, well, you don't have to, but like the one that he's known for has to be one of those two. Um, okay, so Chopping Mall mm-hmm. is, uh, so this comes out, uh, what do we say? We, it's two years after the Terminator. Yes. Which I am going to say right now was a heavy influence heavy. on why Roger Corman, oh, yeah, and Roger, right. Corman Roger Corman is the producer. More specifically, Julie film. Corman, uh, his wife. Okay, so it they was, had Concord. It was her, like, Pet project, I think. Corman has gone through so many fucking uh, like production companies. Yeah, didn't he have it was like a New World, World, New World, yeah. And then he sold that, and then that became, I think, Concord. Then there was New Concord, and right? I, I, yeah, yeah. 20, why? What's he doing? That he's got to keep making a new production company. Yeah, I don't know. Him. He keeps on selling his interest, in dodging the taxes or something. You yeah. know, the guy's well, just like he knows where the money's at. Well, I think that might be it. Like he sells it off to make more more money to start a new company mm-hmm. to make more movies. Because at some point they got to become valuable enough where he can sell them to make more money. To get more money to make more movies. Yeah. Because if he kept going with those labels, he'd be like, well, we don't have any more money. So we've got to sell it off to make alive, more. He's still alive, right? Roger Corman? Corman? Yeah. I think he is. I don't think yeah, he's, yeah. is he still producing? Oh, I'm sure he is. Come on. But that man has been working since like the 50s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or something like that. On And everything. one of his early movies that I believe he directed was Little Shop of Horrors in the 1950s, which starred Dick Miller uh, as a character ca- called Walter Paisley. And in Ch- Chopping Mall, Dick Miller appears as a character called Dick Walter Miller. Paisley. There was also, oh, I noticed right. the two stars of Eating Raul, which is a movie I have never seen. No. But Paul Bartel and Mary Warnov are also in this uh, mm-hmm. movie. Mm-hmm. So is, should I watch this movie? Uh, I, it's it's weird. It's, is um, it a cult kind of film? Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I mean, I watched it and I was like, I've seen it. It's but a like, freak show material? I don't know about that. Okay. Probably not. There's not enough happening. He's produced it's, 413 movies. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, Roger Corman's a, a legend. But I mean, his whole MO is basically copy what is uh, popular yes. and do it for like a millions cheaper. A, a third. It's not even uh, right. An 18th of the kind budget. of like right. an asylum pictures sort of thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but I would, but like, I would even say like, they have more standards than Asylum, I would I, I would say. You know? You think Asylum has more standards? No, than Asylum you? is like, okay, if you have the hierarchy, right? You got your main studios at the top. I would say in the middle 
you've got Roger Corman stuff, and then at the bottom you got Asylum. Mm-hmm. Is what I would say because I think Roger Corman at least tries to have a little bit of like originality. A take, a take on it. Yeah, yeah, a take on it, yeah. a, a perspective, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Whereas like the Asylum is literally just like they're hoping to confuse your grandma at Walmart and just she'll grab the movie. Being <laughs> right. like, that's what they're hoping yeah. for. They're hoping for like the mistake. Yeah, right. Whereas right. you know that's true because he at least he would call it like Chopping Mall and not like. Yeah. Term like mall terminators or yeah. something like right. that. Yeah. 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 Which is what yeah. asylum yeah. would do or something. Yeah, like asylum that. Yeah. is just trying to trick you into it by just hoping you, you read too quickly and are not paying attention. And right. Too late, they have your money, you know? Like that's what they're hoping for. Yeah. It's not the fucking movie I thought it was. <laughs> um I had asked you earlier, Sean, if you could tell us what the budget differential was between right. Terminator in nineteen eighty four and eight hundred thousand for this for this one. Okay. $800, really thousand dollars. Yeah. I'll look I can up see that. You gotta build Terminator. those robots. No, I mean that's like I, I honestly thought it should and, be more, honestly. Right. And you gotta rent that mall. I wonder how yeah, is this a closed out well no, it actually looks like no, a real it's mall. Active. They had to shoot it at night. And uh, yeah, but so they the, blow shit up in it and all that stuff. They do. So the uh, the head like, of security was not very happy with I the bet. people running this. The owners were like fucking cool. They're just like, nah, go for it. Yeah. Do it. We you're love cool. movies. We love it. Do it. Yeah. Just clean up when you're done. Make sure nothing's fucked up and you're good to go. They did have some custom signage made too. Yeah. Like Peck and Paws fucking <laughs> sure, <yeah. laughs> sporting goods store. True. Like that was a legit, you know, sign. So they had yeah. that shit made, you know, Very stuff like true. that. Right, and they were blowing up a bunch of glass and shit. Mm-hmm. While he's looking this up, maybe you can help me, Michaela. Mm-hmm. If you know the answer 6. to this. 6.4 million was the budget for Terminator. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That's okay. a big budget so movie. It's a big, it's a big uh, budget movie. Yeah. Because I was, my thesis was that maybe they weren't that <laughs> far apart in budget. Right. but and like it just depends on what you do with it. Yeah. It's like some people make a robot that looks like, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, metal pl- aluminum plates right. or something all over it. And somebody can actually mo- mold it and make a fucking mm-hmm. Terminator out of right. it. Right. Well, there was a lot of stop motion in Terminator. So, uh, yeah. But how expensive is that? I mean, they, they blew up a few semis. There's That's big, true. big robotic Terminator. I mean, if you do. take off the future world stuff in Terminator. but uh, That's very true. I mean, Jim Cameron, who got his start with Roger Corman, yes. I think working. I like you say him. Jim, like you're friends with them. Yeah, Jim. Yeah, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim Cameron. Jim, we all Jim call Cameron. him Jim. Uh, uh, we, he, in the industry, we call him Jim. Yeah, um, since he passed away, may he rest in peace. <laughs> oh, wait, no, he's still alive. He's just making fucking Avatar movies. He's yeah. also doing like the history of science fiction or something on AMC Networks or Shutter, I think has or something. He's got like he's a got time for that. Uh, Apparently and he, and so. He's, and he's quote unquote producing a new Terminator, a new Terminator movie. Terminator. Yeah. Oh, Do we want another Jeez, one? God. No, I mean not. Be- not after <laughs> Gen Y. No, not after he said Gen Y. was the <laughs> best Terminator since the <laughs> yeah. first one or whatever yeah. he fucking said. Yeah. He, that man has lost his damn mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was a movie, a Corman movie, and now I can't remember which one it was, what it was called. It might have been Galaxy of Terror, but mm. watching that movie, I think it had Sid Hagen, if I remember. But there are some exterior shots on like an alien planet that's all like Uh-oh. blue and smoky, and I'm like, "This is fucking." This, he did this in Alien. Yeah, I mean, he learned it here sure, and then right. just applied those. Uh, you know, uh, I think he also worked. Jim Cameron might have worked on Escape from New York as an effect. I guy. think so. Yeah. I think he did. Yeah, because I think Roger Corman's company was hired to do like the effects work or you know something like that. But, yeah. yeah, and you can tell he comes from effects work too because you ever uh, ever watched the behind the scenes for um, Aliens or him interacting with the fucking effects guys when they're trying to do face hugger uh, effects? He like gets really pissy with them when they're not when the effect isn't perfect. He's like on their ass. He's like, what am, what am I doing here? Why are we even doing this if we can't get this right? Yeah. You get it right so we can film it. Like he's, <laughs> he's like, I would have had it right. Right, damn exactly. It. He's like, this. I can do this. Yeah. I, I can figure this out real quickly. Why can't you guys do it? Yeah, yeah. Fix it up and let's film. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, I heard that was a really rough shoot, Aliens. Aliens. Yeah, it looked like it was, just seeing some of that behind the scenes stuff. But, hey. It's a rough shoot, but look what we got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I guess my Alien. point there was that, like, Jim Cameron versus Jim Wynorski, maybe that's where it came from, ah, okay. uh, is a much more talented director. Yes. Yeah, you know, it's like, so this movie. Well, uh, it's what your, I mean, also happens to be what your aspirations are. Because I, yeah. I don't know if Jim Wynorski aspired to, like, maybe he didn't aspire to do too much, and he's okay with that. Well, no, I think he is quoted as saying he got into movies because he. Like wanted to meet girls or something like sure. it was like it was, there were two things one meet right. girls and I can't remember what the other thing was make a fuck ton of money famous <laughs> yeah, the money, money or yeah. whatever meet girls make money that's not 
bad. I mean, there's not a better, yeah. there's not really a better industry to do that in. So this is true, you know, right. especially because he works in movies where women get naked all yeah. the time. Right? Too, yeah, so. his his plan worked. You know? Right? Like, yeah. he, he that was man successful. is living his best yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> Has been for fifty years. <laughs> May we all be able to do the same thing mm-hmm. in our own way? Yeah. Um. So. Should we start off by, well, I mean, either we can do the plot or we can talk briefly about the ro- the killbots themselves. Oh, might yeah, be a the good killbots. starting we should. Killbots. The killbots. Okay, so uh, we're talking about killer robots. <laughs> it's the 1980s. So it's half Johnny Five, half, half Alpha, Alpha Five. from Power Rangers. Yes, yes. Exactly. I wrote that down in my notes. I was like, the, bo- I was like, the <laughs> bottom <laughs> half is Johnny Five, right. the top but the top half, half is Alpha. Five. Yeah. And the bottom really half, is. you're saying it's it's <laughs> tank treads. We yeah, 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 it's, yeah the tank treads. But it has Johnny Five kind of arms, too. But that was an... Wait, wait, wait. It was short circuit. It was the same year. Wasn't it I don't know what year short circuit oh, was. I think that was the oh, same year. And this was filmed in 85 because we can tell because Crush Groove and Remo oh, yeah. Williams are on the marquee at the movie yep. theater. Mm-hmm. So either they were filmed at the same time. Or okay, so anyway, he it's got is this a. This like uh, the prototype of Johnny Five. They're like, we don't want this. You guys can have it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is like, there's something in the air in the zeitgeist. 86 yeah. and, uh, was short circuit. Yeah, so yeah. they were filming probably at the same time, or you know something. It's likely, it's highly unlikely that these filmmakers saw short circuit to right. copy the design. No. Right. So this is just something that somehow, mm-hmm. you know, kind of comes around. The head of it, uh, I've always noticed that like these robots have like a very similar. Uh, the idea of the robotic eye, right? Yes. It's the the slit or mm-hmm. whatever the red right. uh, was the, the horizontal right. slit across the facial area, which uh, the so, Cylons and Battlestar Galactica it used to it had a light that moved inside mm-hmm. of it. All right, and I yeah. think Kit the uh, the talking car from Knight Rider mm-hmm. also had the thing that right. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Robocop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This looks he like turns Robocop. Machi- he turns machine and he's got mm-hmm. just the slit across his eyes. Yeah. 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 So, and it's also was there wasn't one? didn't the wraith mask kind of have like a in I mean, the wraith he was, was his he? helmet? Uh, he might have had, had like a visor similar have. to I that. I think it was the future. Yeah, it's kind it's of just like the future the, look. Yeah. Uh, what's the X Men did Cyclops? Oh, the, yep. Mm-hmm. Cyclops, right? So you always kind of uh, have that. Jordy from Star Trek. Yeah. Yep. And I'm trying to think now if this is inspired in any way by like the War of the Worlds machine, but I can't remember right. if that one had like a. But it did have a similar, like the laser sound yeah. in this. It sounded to me like the laser sound from like the old fifties War of the World, because mm-hmm. they shoot a laser out of the fucking uh, pink and eye. blue lasers. Of course they do, yep. and right, the green one. Mm-hmm. So we can tell them apart. There's oh, three there robots. One? Yeah. Oh, I only saw blue. That was we just the saw the pink and blue three. side by side, so I think right. that's why we uh, noticed it. But the yeah. green one wasn't with them at that right. scene. These robots are the new modern security force for your mall. Mm-hmm. Basically, we see a little movie at the beginning that's a sales pitch to the mall or the you know people who work in the mall. Would They're that have been have better if it was uh, Bill Paxton's? Bill Paxton? Bill Paxton's character from Terminator? <laughs> that's uh, the punk from Terminator in that role? That would have been great. Giving yeah. the spiel? Oh, or getting no, chased. In the movie, yeah, yeah. getting chased and The dying. thug getting chased and yeah, murdered? That yeah, that would have been good. Because it outlines all the powers that these uh, robots have. They have a laser in the, the eye. They can shoot, uh, like, taser darts. They um, have pinchers mm-hmm. that they can. They have uh, right. articulated that, arms. That reminded me of Runaway. Like, how the robots uh, in Runaway yeah, had, like, the super right. simple pinchers that were, like, very primitive. That's what these bots' arms That's were like. That's because they're literally those hand claws yeah. that you can buy for kids. Just yeah. repurposed for a fucking robot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, well, why, I mean, because when he got that, why do you have to think of better? Yeah. I've like, seen all you need worse is designs, I guess, for a robot. But at the same we time, it's like, way worse. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. 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 Big comes budget to mind. movie. Yeah. I'll go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kyle doesn't like it when I make the hardware. <laughs> but this one, I mean, now it looks boxy and clunky, but then mm. so did 80s cars. <laughs> yeah. You True. Know? Yeah. So yeah they're all about corners. Yeah, they hadn't actually rounded things off and made things. Uh, I mean, everything's no, like sleek. hard metal. Yeah, uh, yeah. Before there's no sleekness to these. No. Things. Um, but basically, this it, is it, kind of utilitarian. Is that what it's called? Hmm? Utilitarian. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? When it's just like there's no. Uh, oh, utilitarian. Just, yeah, utilitarian. It's, uh, it just it's, has a function. The form right. follows the function. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so basically, these are going to be your new mall cops, mm-hmm. Robo mm-hmm. Mall Cop. Cop, robot, yeah. yeah. Watch little, out, watch out, Paul cop. Blart. We're coming for you. Yeah, they're little Ed 209s. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At some point, they put him on like a Segway. So they were yep. kind of, you know, yep. trying to make <laughs> right. all he needed yep. was a laser gun. Yeah. He was on Just his way. put wheels on everything. <laughs> yeah. That's all he needed to do. Yeah. 
So that's the idea, right? The uh, company has hired, the mall has hired these robots, hired the robots. <laughs> hired the robots. Yeah, they're on the they're payroll, just, I, yeah. So you say that, and I just see them like, it, so what was your previous work experience? As they're talking <laughs> to the fucking robots, it's like, well, I was the at hardware. a blockbuster back in the day. Oh, yeah, they talk. They only say, like, one or two things, though. Right. Have but a nice day. But there yeah. is an AI governing them, apparently, in the days before they knew what AI was. This sure. is uh, There's some kind of robot intelligence. Right. There's also a dude behind the scenes in the computer room. Which you have switches. to have. He's Homer Sim- Simpsoning it up in there. Basically, Holy yes. shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. He pushes a bunch of colored or flashing buttons. Yep. And has Eats a bunch donuts, of leans a, back in his chair, does nothing. Wears a lab coat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's amazing that technology could exist in movies back then. Where nothing was labeled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These, these people operating this shit are so skilled. It's all in his head, man. All in their, they just studied it and it's all in their head. Yeah, but like, have you ever looked at like a, like a TV, uh, like the director's console? It's all those lit, light up buttons. It looks like that, but you can does, assign the but, different functions. Well, sure. Them, and but you can put labels least, be- beneath them. Right. And usually that is what the thing is. Yeah. yeah. With switchers and shit like that. Yeah. Like they exist like that with just shiny buttons. That is was a technology <laughs> at one point. Yeah. So you are correct. Hurt. And then you know you have the inside of a uh, like a helicopter cockpit or a plane cockpit where you have all the switches. That still boggles my fucking mind. Yeah. Like I was I was watching like Apollo thirteen the other day, and I'm just like, how did the fuck did we go to the moon with just this switches and shit? How do we still fly planes where that is Toggle is switches. still the technology? I see, and I can't think about that. If I think about that right. too much, I'll have like a mental breakdown right. thinking about <laughs> how how people understand that and right. everything that could go well, wrong. They label yeah. them with that little gun that like prints out like stuff on a yeah, little and you sure. tear it off and you stick it on you're like yeah. that yeah. one's the thrust. That's as far as we've gotten. But like <laughs> <And> I, airplane <laughs> technology. No, yeah. Have you seen the hunt for red October from the nineties? It's lately. all like they've got computers that help you out with that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There's still switching. Yeah, no, walls. yeah, this it's is like this if you this don't flip it, you're gonna die. Yeah. That's like, what I'm saying. Like that's thing. why I can't think about it too much because <laughs> yeah. like I'm like I'm so my whole like surviving this flight is dependent on these two assholes up front flipping the right switch and knowing which are the right switches. And that's yeah. it. Well, that's <laughs> like, yeah. I can imagine yeah. astronauts had fucking nerves of steel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Out of the fucking moon yeah. Yeah. in that thing? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, in a, in a Insane. dishwasher, basically. Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> Insane. Yeah. That is it's crazy. crazy we're, we're, none of us are cut out for that. <laughs> no, no, we can't none do of it. Us were ever made to leave this earth, let alone <laughs> the ground. Yeah. yeah, it appears. Well, uh, so once you have these uh, your new security force installed, mm. there is a horrible, awful lightning storm that yeah. attacks the mall very much like aggressively. But doesn't short them out. Doesn't doesn't just malfunction them. It t- makes them evil. It doesn't even really tell you that. They were hit by the like the surge. No, there's, there's three no, surges. Right. I'm like, what's happening here? I'm like, I right. get it it's because not, right, you put it together in your head, but it's not really like obvious that they're getting surged and it's wasn't fucking with them. Obvious. Wasn't no. to me. No, well, it wasn't. it's not. It's not clear. I mean, I grant you that it's not clear in film language, but like right. at this point in time, and I assume when they were watching it in 1986, it was like because uh, it's the Frankenstein idea, yeah. right? You've got the the creature. The lightning hits it. Lightning yeah, was the right. thing that like, lightning. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have we studied lightning? I want to. Yeah. Where did we get? This? You get zapped by lightning. You come back to life. Lightning has some fucking awesome properties. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I want to strike more things with lightning just to see what happens. Yeah, I mean, but only dead not? things because if you strike light, uh, living things with lightning, it's you know it's not good. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it could turn you evil. We never see yeah. this, but yeah. Yeah. true. You guys yeah. ever seen like what happens when like lightning hits like sand on a beach? Oh yeah, it turns into glass. glass and like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. that all shit's seen the, crazy. The, the, what is it? What was it? The Reese Witherspoon movie? I think so. Were they? Have you guys not seen that? I no, seen I have not. Seen, no, I don't know like, what you're talking about. I, it may be Sweet Home Alabama. I like, think it's what's Sweet Home Alabama. the last Reese Witherspoon movie that I've seen? Yeah, it's yeah, been a, a long time since I've seen one. That's a good one. What is the last one? But there's people that go and put like metal poles in the beach when it storms, so it makes that glass. Yeah, out and it looks like fucking like tree roots or something, but it's glass made from lightning striking the sand and all that shit. That shit's crazy. And then at the end, they kiss and lightning strikes right between them and makes and kills both of them. That's no, no. I think that happens actually like the beginning when they're younger. And that's where he gets the idea to make a business out of it. Oh. <laughs> this sounds Alabama like a folks. stupid fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you didn't think you were going to get that when you came to listen to this yeah. podcast, did you? <laughs> yeah. Who knew that uh, oh, you yeah. had a, such a uh, breadth of knowledge of Reese Witherspoon movies? Uh, so, okay. So these things are be- struck by lightning and then become sentient in some way because they keep checking with each other. I notice the robots always look 
to the right and to the left. Mm. They have no field of vision. Their heads don't uh, have like a, they have a swivel, but they don't have the pan right. tilt. They have, yeah. they have, they have, they have, right, pan, no tilt. Yeah, mm-hmm. but somehow they are able to shoot at things at the ground and see things that are happening right. in front of them, which is always one of those I things. I couldn't determine where the laser was coming from on them. It came out of the eye. Eyes. But like, but... <sighs> Did it though? Like it could shoot, you know, even though the things yeah. looking straight. It, it could can shoot in any shoot direction. I, I yeah. feel like there's like little sensors inside the eyes that can yeah. look up and down, yeah. and right, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. But that's me giving a lot to this yeah. movie. Yeah, but I think that's how they thought that. Sure. It was, you know, mm-hmm. no, it's just like a, some kind of plasma in there. That no, I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> crystals. Let's yeah, not. crystals. <laughs> Uh, me well, I crystals. mean, they have lasers in the eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, they do. Yeah. That was my best uh, doctor. Evil. Yeah, so, I, was, I I got it. Okay. Um. So anyway, they have uh, Your best doctor evil. <laughs> they have the laser. I can't do it any better than that. I don't think so. No, I got to watch the movie again. Right. Um. <laughs> so anyway, inside the mall after closing time, there are a collection of young people in their forties. No, they're not. They're like in their thirty. Well, late twenties. They 20s. are they dress adults. Like they're in their forties. Okay, adults. Because d- w- at least two of them are married. What? Yeah. yeah Linda, I wasn't paying Linda, Linda, attention. Uh, the, the couple that Linda. fixes the car, that yeah, has the car married. fixing oh, yeah. service. We put all our wedding they, money into the business. They're and then, the uh, and then he yeah. said, oh, yeah. And I also said, we I'd do this for better or worse is what he says in the car. They're, so they're married. married. So it's Flannel Girl yes. and Dude from Friday the yes, 13th. Yes, not too. Lucinda Dickey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's her name. Not Lucinda Dickey. Yeah. 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 And we've also got Barbara Crampton, scream, squeak, uh, scream Queen Barbara Crampton. And mm-hmm. boy, did she live up to that. In oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, how? How often do people scream in real life? But she like does it a lot, like mm-hmm. in, in the film. Well, everybody does in this, mm-hmm. sure. Uh, but Barbara Crampton is in it, uh, mm-hmm. probably because it's a Jim Wynorski movie. At some right. point, she has to take her top off. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she was also like on The Young and the Restless or General Hospital or something like before Reanimator, which was the year before this. Mm-hmm. Um, then she's paired up with some the, dude, the dude, that one dude. Yeah, not the gum he's chewer. The guy who the they, oh, his dad the runs the. Doesn't his dad run the um, furniture, furniture store, store in the mall? What's the difference between a mall and a galleria? No idea. That's a good question. No okay. idea. Is this a mall or a galleria? I worked at a mall that was uh, called a galleria. Oh, I think this was galleria sh- in the name. Never mind. This was shot at the galleria. The. That's right. Okay, never mind. I said earlier that this was shot at the like the Beverly Center. This was shot at the Sherman Oaks Galleria. The Wait, exteriors the, were shot at the Beverly Center. The same Galleria from Commando? Yes. Whoa. And, this blew my and mind right there. Terminator 2. Holy when I say, like, Imagine the that. The Galleria. Yeah. 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 Same one. Distinctive banisters is what we're saying. Railings. Right. Railings, elevators. Yeah. Certain things pop out. Um, Not much has changed. So there's Barbara Crampton and her dude. Yeah. Who I can't mm-hmm. remember. I think he's. I don't his, think he matters. Yeah. Not important. And then there is uh, <laughs> the 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 meet cute couple. The the nerds, I guess. Ferdy? The nerdy is Ferdy. kind of Ferdy yeah, and right. Allison, yeah. right? And That's they that. are going on a first date. Everybody else is already uh, in a relationship, sure. and so mm-hmm. basically they're going to hang out, and party, and screw on all of <laughs> right, the in, in a furniture store. Okay, the, yeah. the, we need to like <laughs> God really bless break the eighties. We're yeah. just like whatever, man. We'll be over here so five feet away. All, all these people work in the mall. Like we've seen them work. Some most of them work yeah, at a diner. Mall, yeah. You know, they they all have some connection cook. to the mall. Yeah, and they, they're going to have a party after hours after they're off work in the furniture store. Yep. Because there's beds. Right. Yeah, but we like... Get busy! Like, as Sean pointed out, they were all peanuts dancing before that, though. There was, like, some strange Charlie Brown dancing (laughs) happening before that. But, yeah, I I have have a hard time suspending my disbelief for this movie because I worked in a mall for so long, so I'm just like, uh, that would never happen, and this is not how that works. I I think it would. More than you... No. I think it would. I think the good old days of anything happening, like, all that shit is past and would never be allowed today but yeah. i believe it happened oh shit like that happens but if, all you, the time. if you work in one store in the mall you can't get into any uh, every right, other yeah. store in the mall that's not how that yeah, works back in the you day, have free no. reign of every store in the mall just because you work in one yeah, store because the, the mall. employee was, of one what? store lets you in but who like, worked at the furniture store the dude who was with barbara crampton okay yeah, that's. I think that's how they pulled them all together. Yeah, like, and, like you'll lock up, right? And it's like, oh yeah, we got it. And so everyone has their own key to a certain different store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's oh, we how. forgot to say that Deathstalker Two is in this, and he's right. partnered up with the Smoking Girl. 
Yes. Yeah. But I yep. remember because she has huge knockers and, and gets smokes. her and gets her head blown off. Yes, that's right. In the best <laughs> kill in the movie. The best yeah. kill in the yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they all are hanging out after hours. The uh, doors on so, the mall seal because they're sci-fi sliding they side are. doors. Yeah. Lock the Star Trek doors, and the kill bots uh, are on the loose. Now, I mean, there's no build up to this at all. This is nope. just like lightning strikes. Killbots are on the loose. Kids are partying. Killbots take them down one by one. Right. They kill the scientists who are controlling them. Which is off. Garrett Graham from yes. Child's Play 2. Yes. And he's Bud the Chud in Chud 2. Right. I think it's Chud 2, Bud the Chud. It might yes. be the full I think title. so, yes. Also from Best Darn Video. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Also, a Jim Wynorski movie. <laughs> Did you, it, bringing it all back around. Did Jim Wynorski make every Vestron movie? <laughs> I feel like he might have. Did he do like Cheerleader Kid? No, he, he did probably a did. a bunch. Um, so He's making bank still. Yeah. I off feel. of all the, I'm sure, the classics. Like yep. you said before, accolades, all of them. Um, so <laughs> Accolades all around. Yeah. So, I mean, what do we do here? We talk about, we catalog the kills, how these people uh, the, meet their final. I mean, what I'm end? still stuck on the, the, the party in the furniture store. I'm sorry. Like that, that's blows my mind. Like, cause I don't think we, out and there's just, I don't think we dancing. <laughs> well, I don't think we touched on the fact that the, the like n- quote unquote nerd couple. Cause like, oh, yeah. they're like having a date on the couch, watching a movie and like three other couples are fucking in the display beds behind them. Yep. Like, yeah. right, all in the, you can all see it in the same shot. Oh, like, yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. I mean, yeah. they're not I right next to each the other. Time. They might as well be right I know, next yeah, to they're each other. in, we're in basically a big showroom. Yeah. And so they're not that far away from each other, and everybody's getting it on in their own, uh, you know, like, little area. But yeah. it's still like, huh. <laughs> right. But then it's weird. This because is what you do. You're the like, couple watching t- the, the, the meet cute nerd couple, there's yeah. a bed right behind them with those two fucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They right have to there. sit right there and go them. like, I'm paying attention to this is not yeah. addressed in the movie. In the movie, it's just like, yeah, we're watching this movie and hey, we're meeting cute. Yeah. But in reality, you're like, uh, oh, I'm trying to watch this movie. But all I can hear is her going, oh, God, oh, God, you're the king. Yeah. Behind <laughs> two, things. <laughs> two things. First of all, that couple made me believe that they were all in on that movie and didn't give a shit what was going on behind them. I was all with it them for that. It was an amazing tarantula mm-hmm. film. That was great. Yeah. Um, uh, two, they shot. Everyone's in the same room. They shot it like. Everyone's closed off from one another because there's little partitions, I think, or something like Show, display kind, things. In yeah, between. kind of, sort of. But I felt not like, really. It's a, it's a it, bunch it, of fucking it, beds like, in they a did room. A pan of all three of them, like you can easily like yeah. uncover the thing, look over, and see the other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah, there. Yeah. But they shot it in such a way where it made me feel like they were closed off from the other people yeah. because they have conversations with just each other. There's no, obviously no sound is bleeding over from the other people. Fucking. But nobody's going like, like five hey, feet away. George, Do you guys I not remember that rubber. wide can shot? You throw right. one, can you you throw throw one, one over yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, but there's a wide shot where you can see all three of them right. at the same yeah, oh, time. Yeah. But I think that's from that vantage point. I think yeah. if you were there in the bed, you wouldn't necessarily be, you know. But I think you're giving than, a lot of credit to a movie that probably did not put that much effort into it. No. But They're I, probably going for like, yeah, everyone's fucking in the same room. Yeah. Exactly. Because that was just that was what you drive. did in the 80s. I don't think it, that's true. Uh, that's a what? movie fantasy. <laughs> for the most I'm going to say that's what happened in the 80s. Yeah. In the 80s are more exciting. I'm not saying it didn't happen. happen. I'm just saying not I'm like, saying. Uh, you know, on a regular basis with, uh, you know. <laughs> As the movies, sure. I had a real life moment of horror watching that scene because I was what? like, I was like, I can never buy a mattress from a fucking furniture <laughs> store. Right. Well, yeah, but now they're wrapped in plastic, so you, you know you're I getting don't a fresh care. one. I, I, no, I no, bought one no, where it's just no. like, this is the mattress on the sale rack sitting up on the wall. It's like, yeah. somebody fucked up. No, no, yeah, no. But it's I, cheap, so oh well. No, my my mattress needs to come from a warehouse online. And it needs to come <laughs> That's from right, a fucking warehouse. That's right, because nothing ever goes on there, I'm well, sure. Well, yeah. but I mean. Like, there's just, it's a rack of things and robot arms just pull Yeah, yeah that's what. No that's people. all Amazon. Yeah, I don't want. Those robots fucked on that bed. I'm fine with that. They're neat. You know, sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. As far as we know, you know what, robots, you can fuck on my mattress all you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get a mattress and get a big oil stain in the middle of it. Yeah, like, what the fuck like, is yes. this? <laughs> So you get 11 yeah. robots, we are so sorry that we fucked on your bed. But yep. that's the thing. You don't get a discount for fucking people fucking on your mattress. You, you don't. You do that's not a, a thing. Mattress. 
It, it, but, Ooh, the, but the mattress. Don't say oh, the, the words mattress, mattress, mattress make me uncomfortable. The mattress store is not going to tell you that. No, I think they. You're have, not going to yeah, know that. Back. Well, they have those in the back. Okay, I've but in the world of this yeah. movie. Oh, in the world of this movie. Are, 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 is the guy going to the mattress store and, next day being like, "Oh, a bunch of people fucked on these beds. They're going to yeah. mark them down they're half off." No, the no. Display models, He's going to freeze that shit and pretend like it never happened. Black light your mattresses. It was like, yeah. That's what we're saying. That's Back in the day, you went and ordered a mattress because you looked at that one, and then like in th- whatever a week later, the fucking truck pulled up at your house and delivered you one from. Yeah, the but they have display the sales. They the have day, display like, sales. I'll take, I'll take that one, and they were just like, "All right, wrap it up." <laughs> yeah, and it was gone. Don't yeah. do it, sure don't do it got, folks. I'm pretty sure you got the floor model when you went shopping for mattresses. Yeah, so many. People that's what I'm saying. Have like, fucked on your mattress. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> don't buy the floor model ever. Like it's the '80s. Assume that most furniture you got, somebody fucked on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be a employees safe bet. after yeah. hours probably yes. fucked on that your couch. Furniture. Somebody fucked on you that. Know, That's maybe, sectional. Th- Many people <laughs> fucked on that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean sectional. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> sex. Sex in it. Kind of yeah. in the title. In the word. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe Casper mattress will sponsor us with all this mattress talk. That's right. Fucked on this mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Sean, I think it's actually like stuffed with ghosts is how it's so soft. Well, I think that's, yes, I that's, think that's right. how it's that's made. That's why it's so comfortable. Yeah, have you ever yeah. slept on a ghost? <laughs> I have. It's great. Yeah. Cast the mattress. <laughs> sponsor, sponsor us. us. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure so comfortable. I'm sure nobody's <laughs> fucked on their mattresses, so not at they don't all. they don't have a storefront, so it's not possible. That's right. It's so, in the robot yeah. back room. It's the robot fucking. That's robot all. fucking. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> all right. So we've gone off. Track. Yeah, we have gone off track. I'm trying to guide the ship back to the chopping still on mall. Track yeah. with the robot fucking. Like I said, uh, real life moment of horror. Realizing I can never buy a mattress from a store ever yeah. again. But I don't even really know what else there is to talk about in this movie. It's like you get the people, you get the uh, the setup, and then uh, they they basically run around the mall as robots kill them one by one. It's very true. Uh, they they blow somebody's so heads tame. off, somebody's head off. They elect the robot electrocutes the right. They have Dick the Miller shot. Yeah, yeah. Dick Miller gets electrocuted in some fantastic uh, '80s style special effects where they basically it's rotoscope kind of stuff where they yeah. draw the electricity right. on the guy and there's some sparks going off. And it doesn't stuff. look terrible. No, right? It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, but like I've better seen better worse than the end of Hellraiser. That's pretty. That's like my bar. Oh, for like, that is pretty bad. bad. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty close to that. I'm yeah. all for like. Just like, all right, on set, they were just like, all right, uh, you're getting electrocuted. Yeah, go. he goes, <laughs> right, and they draw the lightning. I'm on fine him with that because you know, like, I, you know, it works, I get it. Yeah, so I'm like, uh, it's right. state of the art, sure. Oh, yeah, it's I don't fantastic. need to be state of the art. Today. It's like, if it's getting its message across, I'm for it. Yeah, okay, well, I got the idea that he was electrocuted, sure. so well, I suppose it did what work. More, what more did you want <laughs> from that, Colin, then? Um, and then it uh, tracks down uh, Deathstalker while he's out getting cigarettes and right. like, cuts his throat or something, I'm not sure. Uh, it goes for, after for, the girl, blows her head off. Right. For robots that have the ability to shoot lasers and just blow people up, why, there's so much hand-to-hand killing. They, like, shoot things. out, like, weird things. There's, there's They've got, like, like a, a little spiky Like a hand. clip. Yeah, yeah. That, that shoots out and can yeah. like grab like you in the grap- back of the head. It's a grappling hook. Basically. Yeah, it's a little Doesn't, tiny one. Right, yeah. the grapple hook the scientists do in the back of the neck. Like, why? Uh, right, why? if you have uh, the ability to shoot lasers and blow someone's head up, why are you doing this other stuff? Why are they not just sniping everyone? Why is this a choice uh, they're making? Um, yeah. Why, yeah, why, don't have why are the robots yeah. making any choices at all, honestly? They because like, they're scented. smart. Yes. Because they were hit by lightning, Michaela. So, so that that right? the They're lightning like are gave switches. them more sentience. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, well, before that, they were all like on a on a program. Now they're like thinking for themselves and and coordinating, right? Like, because they uh, like to protect kill a their certain one way, which yeah. is why I would choosing. say I would say they're almost thinking less because they're just indiscriminately killing everyone. Whereas before they were programmed to only kill people robbing yeah, but them all. Well, I suppose they're still following a program, but like sure. they know how to uh, cut through. You know, the steel shutters of a store right. to get in. They know how to uh, blow open a door mm-hmm. because apparently they can put the little, what is it? The little, uh, it looks like a uh, putty, you know? Right. They, they have the putty like that you put C4 and then they can putty. shoot the, uh, yeah. <laughs> they it, they what is in. this? Well, you because see C4 putty on the, the fucking When you're designing the your robot mall cop, uh, you got to have it prepared for any uh, any situation. You Anything. know what that robot needs to be prepared for? Lost kids and people shitting in places they shouldn't. Those are the real problems that robots yeah, going to deal with in a mall. It doesn't it need fucking goes, C4 putty. But they only turn them loose once the mall is closed, so the Air 4 would only be going after intruders. 
in theory. In theory. Okay, but the the cost to have these robots in the mall <laughs> is greater than any thief would ever be able to get away with in this mall. Tens like tens of thousands of dollars, it has to be. They're losing money by having these robots yeah, there. I would say. Well, it depends on how much what their loss. If they, uh, right. If they stop know, all crime in the yeah, mall, they stop all crime, and they only have to employ one guy to basically sit in the uh, you know twenty four hours a day. There's but the cost the to show. operate and maintain the robots though. It's just this one guy. Do You're not malls, paying three mall cops. Do malls get knocked off a lot when they're closed? It doesn't feel like they no. would No. As, as someone who worked in a mall for two malls for seven years total. What? No. Nobody ever repelled yeah. down it, through the fucking skylight? Never it happened. I wish like, it would have made it more exciting. It doesn't feel like it's a thing nope. that malls get knocked no, off a lot. No, but they get. I think the stores get robbed a lot. Yeah, uh, by just kids going in there, just by the virtue well, of when the, they're yeah. open, right? When, when they're, they're open, open yeah. Right. I'm like, but after hours, which is yes. the main yeah. point. But you don't of need these the, robots. the robot night right. watchman. No, it doesn't feel like this is a yeah. problem. Well, and not only that, mall people tell me if I'm wrong. No, like the, not only that, they're every at most nights out of the year, someone is working an overnight shift at m- multiple stores sure. at a time, stocking. Or yeah, something exactly. Like that. Right. So like, there's not really a lot of time in a mall where it's completely empty. So yeah. It doesn't feel like this yeah. is a big enough problem that robots had to be invented to guard them. Right. Well, we don't know what goes on at the Galleria, apparently, in California, or San Dimas, or wherever the hell this takes place. Like. It's always in uh, San Dimas. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. So our heroes uh, get split up. I think the girls uh, take off right. one. Well, I don't know. Everybody's the, running well, around all over the place. the guys go get weaponized. Yeah, because in the malls in those days, you could buy, uh, uh, you just buy full, a shotgun. like, right. assault-style weapons. Yeah, <laughs> with a right. full clip, M sixteens all the way. Um, and then uh, the girls are—they're trying to get. I'm not sure where they were going, but they, they were the going through system. the heating duct. They were going for the parking lot for the parking structure. I don't know how, but don't whatever. Know. It's another thing. Like all malls have those crazy back hallways that only employees can right. use. Why not use that instead this of the, is, the heating my- duct? Yes, this yeah. is what I was saying. Like every single one of them, I think from the beginning of when malls started being made to now, and they're like, creepy this has too. Been a thing. Oh, yeah, I saw you can all go to the back. Yes, yeah. you can all go to the back where there's a back door for every store where there's one fucking hallway where you and can it's go quiet to get out. and it's right. just solid concrete and it's crazy. Right. It's, and it's scary. There, it's there, to, but it's also there to just like go in and go out. Yeah, like, that's the only purpose of it. Mm-hmm. Which, why they should know? Why aren't they just well, going for that? And they're shooting the in a real mall, so they have that. Well, they went down they through that. Yeah, the they did yeah. get there. But that's not their first... Uh, well, maybe no. it's because of the geography. They were out in the mall and somehow, or whatever, they ended up in a... Yeah, because they got they got locked in a storeroom right. with the shutter. The robot was coming through. They went up through the uh, vent. Right. So that was why they didn't end up going out the... Because they tried the back door that would have led to the little uh, access hallway, mm-hmm. but there was a chain on it. But if, oh yeah, this movie point. thought this all out. No, I mean, it it's there. No, shut up. It did not <laughs> think this all out. Like, at, at a certain point, they get guns. You can shoot locks off. Like, they're yeah, you know, yeah. They could have gotten out of this alive. Just yeah. saying. Mm-hmm. But no, unfortunately, like they this. get lasered. Lasered in the they face. They get uh, Heads electrocuted. Explode. Uh, Only like, one the, head really exploded. One head exploded. Uh, one dude just sacrificed himself because he was angry that his girl got killed. And how'd she dro- get killed? She got. Uh, Oh, no, she got she, lasered in the in no? the stomach. Yeah, his wife. Yeah, his yeah. wife stood yeah. around. That's flannel. Lasers girl. being shot. Yeah, and just got hit in the stomach and died. There was two women dumb. that got surprise paralysis out of nowhere that couldn't stand up for some for un- yeah. Barbara Crampton reasons. got like shot in the shoulder, and she's like, ah, my legs. They don't work. She was dragging <laughs> herself, dragging. Her but then legs. when she was on fire, she stood up. Right. Okay. Well, when you're on fire, you're. It's like you know when your kid's trapped in a car and you have to flip <laughs> it over. It's just like that. You get this adrenaline yeah. rush. God, I'm trying to remember. Certain she was situations. on fire because uh, I think while the guys are getting the gas the guns, can. Gas the can. girls come up with the idea that they're going to take gas cans and make basically these big Molotov cocktails. Uh, but Barbara Crampton ends up getting shot right and lands mm-hmm. in front of him, and then they shoot the ga- the robot shoots the gas can and <laughs> blows right. her up. Then dude sacrifices himself by just driving. Like a in the Cushman. most m- ridiculous fucking scene in the movie, because yeah. it's like five feet away from the robot. Yep. Mm-hmm. So he hops in it. And I'm like, this is going to be some big action moment or something. But he just like drives two feet. It could have at least been slow motion. I mean, it basically was. The thing, those <laughs> things don't move fast. They don't. Yeah. You can tell when they've sped up the film. And mm-hmm. he crashes into it and electrocutes both himself and the robot somehow. 
Well, the robot was electrocuting and like spinning in circles because of the mirror trick that they right, did when that they was pulled the all the trick. mannequins yes. out and had the right, yeah, right, right. okay because it shot the mirror and it bounced th- back. Right, you would think that uh, the robot would be a little more discerning and would have like at least heat vision. There was no Something. robot. There was no robot vision. Yeah, why not? I know. This it'd be is so why, it'd be so was, easy to do. That was a, right. That's a problem. You As just we started put thinking two more pieces about- of fucking construction paper on your camera, and you got robot vision. <laughs> if nothing else, put it like a you know, like the fucking uh, the overhead pro- over- overhead projector, like in red. Put it yeah. over yeah. your fucking. Or maybe that yeah. was beyond their budget or something. Like that. maybe. But it's but like, did they not shoot any robot think they POV thought of it. stuff? I don't think they're just. They like, saw now the Terminator. I think they were just like, we're not doing it. I'm thinking that it cost too much. It had to have because you had to get like computers and like do over the. No, I you, know, I, was I'm saying pond, you don't guess, even maybe. have to do the HUD thing. I'm saying you take two pieces of black paper and just make it like the uh, narrow strip. Yeah. Just sure. make it that something, and that's and gives it some sort of sound effect that you know, right? Uh, says like, you're com- in the robot. Actual yeah, computing. Yeah, like, yeah, and that's it. But that's it what I'm saying. It would be that back then. It would be that back the then. The score basically sounded it like was. that, though. It, it was. The, the score was. Like, now there are bands that make music just Purposely, like this score. Yes. The score is like low-rent Herbie Hancock. Yeah. Like, real low-rent Herbie yeah, but Hancock. There's like, it's loud. There are bands now, like, I can't, like, Turbo Laser or something like that, that <laughs> actually do, like, they use this instrumentation and make, you know, these phantom movies, 80s movie scores. It's awesome. Turbo Laser. I could be wrong. Um... So then, uh, I mean, ultimately, we come down to there's two people left, and Duder gets, uh, these are the meet cute couple. They are the final right. folks. Ferdy. Ferdy. And Allison. <sighs> yeah, that fuck fucking that. name. And he gets somehow, uh, I think the robot somehow slings, like, he throws a, a, a propane tank at it, because this is how they figure out they're going to beat these things. Right. They're going to throw a propane tank at it, shoot that, and bl- they blow the robot right. up, which I think maybe works in one of the cases. It, it quote-unquote, works for the first one, which, will, again, terminators itself and comes back to life. Right. Yeah, 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 appa- yeah. It was bleeding to death and blown up, but it still it came back to life, whatever. You're saying, how can judge. a robot bleed to death? And we never see it, but apparently it's oozing it's mentioned, of, uh, uh, oil or yes. something. Well, it's robot blood. Yes. And uh, so Duder throws one of these propane tanks at the robot, but somehow it like basically catches it and fucking throws it back at him and knocks him over and he bangs his head and bleeds oh, no, out all it was, over the place. It was, uh, it was a fire extinguisher. A fire he grabbed it off the wall, threw it at him, and then yeah, it got yeah, thrown yeah. back at him and he knocked his head yeah. and bled a lot. Yeah, which basically leaves Linda Hamilton... It leaves Linda Hamilton to finish off the last. Yes, you are absolutely correct. Because she has the last the same hair. Fifteen minutes of this movie is Terminator. Yeah, like they go for it with the look. The music is reminiscent because I was getting Terminator feelings from this. Yeah, it's definitely that. Yeah, as the final robot, which I think is Protector Three. Maybe is it the Green Laser? I don't know. Or maybe it was it's, a pissed off th- Red Laser. I think it's the one who got blown up earlier. Okay, that's turn. That's Protector One. This feels like you know. Let's let, let's make sure we got our. Right. Okay. Their like identities a, uh, are not important. Yeah. Right. Well, they it feels like exa- a, the same. Talk the same. It feels yeah. like a moment from like Have like nice the, the stumpy moment from like Tremors, where you know the one the first one they encountered is the last one they have to kill. Mm-hmm. Like I think that's mm-hmm. the whole thing they were going. Maybe for. if they look different, that's Spike from Gremlins sure. or something. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but you have to like get paint on him so you know that one. The one that got marked. The Force Awakens did it with the red streaks. Yeah, Blood exactly. On, you know, so well, you at least know that this is. A why not guy. just number them in this movie? They, they were numbered. They were. They were. <laughs> but very see, small. Yeah. I, I didn't right. catch it. it apparently, was so, so, small yeah. plates on the yeah. side. Yeah. It's one, two, and three. Yeah. And I think, but no, there needs to be like it needs to be like half scarred, like it got yeah. burned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just put, head gets right, blown right exactly something. Just put cool. stripes on their head or something. You know, color. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You get you get paint or you get burn or something that distinguishes. Even the shark and fucking jaws too, like got burned and had scars on its face. Yeah. Somebody yeah. was somebody was <laughs> yeah. like I'm not taking doing their job a point somewhere. Off just for that. Yeah. Yeah. This is right. like that would have made the movie better. And yeah, it doesn't it, it doesn't eat into your budget at all. You could literally grab a jar of paint and be like, Yeah. yeah. And like yeah. I think the Force Awakens example is a really good one because that was like not only a scene where they had to distinguish like one character, but it was against like what like twenty other characters yeah, looked identical. Yeah, all looked the same. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I thought it would, they had a pretty elegant solution to mm-hmm. it. I thought it felt yeah. organic. It felt natural. So yeah, you know, again, you can easily do this. Yeah, so. you have options. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yeah, you made robots. Yeah, you could be a little more inventive and differentiate them mm-hmm. a little bit. Give them you a little can. personality because yeah. if you're bad guys, your good guys are only as good as your bad guys, and your bad guys. God, 
Well, she ends up uh, terminating the last one. She does the How so? Well, she didn't have the good, you know, you're terminated fucker line. She didn't. No, she, she turned had their the, line yeah, against them. Have a nice day. And then, like, the whole storefront explodes. This is, but this is after she, we take a chunk of time to see her opening multiple cans of paint. It took that robot forever to get to her. For I thought it was right on her ass, but right. it turns out it was like half a mile away. And, and you hear it. I think we right it's coming you down could, the hall. You could cut 30 seconds out of that whole thing, I think. Like, yeah. she opened 20 cans of paint and other paint thinners and threw them Yeah, I was like, what's going to happen? She's going to blow up the paint? It's like, we get it, I think. Yeah. At a she has a, a, the flare a she flare put in her she, yeah. bra earlier, which. With Chekhov's flare. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she puts the paint all over the floor, which I'm like, that's going to be flammable. But right. no, that is so the robot can't get traction. It's going to get stuck there so she can light the paint thinner on fire and blow right. it up, you know, and have the tough guy line. Because, you know, I mean, this is the era of a right. one liner. Mm-hmm. It would have really, it's the little things that would have paid off greatly in this movie. Uh, a slow mo flare throw. Oh, yeah. Into the store. Yeah. A better been, director. Would have been right. great. Jim would have been great. Not a good director. Not what a, I'm saying. Not a good director. No. <laughs> yeah. He's he's yeoman like. He's mm-hmm. is he like he gets it done. And yeah. that's for certain things that's all you need. No uh no flair. He's got he's got he's got, he's got no. He's got no trade money. He's got nothing. It's just like let's just get it done and go and then you know people come see it for the boobs and the people's head is exploding. Yeah. The, the one head exploding the in one this head case. Exploding, yeah. yeah. You no, know, I was kind of like I, there was there was no gore flesh. in this movie. I mean, yeah. because I think every movie at that point in time, you had to have, not before the 90s, neutered it and took all the fucking violence right. and blood out of a movie. But they it was a prerequisite that you would have some kind of blood spilling. I mean, a guy's throat gets cut and like right. there's a little right. jet after he's dead, which is like, I'm sorry, Jim Munorski, but after you're dead, there's no uh, pressure. Is, you know, whatever. Yeah, your heart's well, not well, pumping the blood. Yeah, right. Maybe it was. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, but whatever. Each person <laughs> that got killed, there was some kind of amount of a little bit of uh, splatter, or at least barely from the mouth. Yeah, there's something. Uh, that red blood. Yeah. But I guess based on our the advertising leading into this movie and the title, Chopping Mall, mm. I thought it was going to be a much more uh, Christmassy. Told you it wasn't the movie you think it is. No, yeah, it's really, not. It's really not. I expected some gore, bigger gore moments. Am sure. I wrong? No, like no, somebody, I expected like the somebody same thing getting too. chopped up. Because at I thought least. that the fucking thing was at least going to have a goddamn fucking little right. buzzsaw nope. on it. Something like, nope. uh, like saw arms on. that would go in and something else would come out. Yeah, they did that on the fucking sh- black hole. Robots have a buzzsaw arm. Mm. You have it, you give it to them. Yeah. They should have, mm-hmm. they should be multi tools mm-hmm. yeah. at this point. They should have other things on there. Or some kind of spinning cloth. They right. should just be robotic Swiss Army knives, right? Yeah. Just all these different yeah. options of disposing right. of because people. You, you can remake this situation. movie so they were made for the military, which is and been, then they were decommissioned, and then they were. This they, is oh, they were like okay. the things from my oh, night. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. yeah, yeah. That, well, uh, that's so sure, they did right, this. Well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It would have made it. this better. Yeah. Just take the fucking thing. Yeah, and I think they've threatened to remake this movie before. Go ahead. Oh, with go a super, right they, ahead. They Somebody said that and they weren't going to be... It was uh, like 2011. It was, right, and there'd be supernatural yeah. involvement? Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to see that. I, I, I wouldn't watch it, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Not to me. It's, it would never make it to multiplex. I don't think so either, because what do you do? You can, I don't think you can update this movie to make it interesting, because we've seen so far, so many. Like, out there you make it a slasher chop. in a mall movie. That's how you make it interesting. The, right, well, but what is the technology in a new one? You take all that out, and it's just a slasher. I, just a slasher in a mall movie, slasher, is what I'm saying. That, yeah. 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 Well, then it's it's like, yeah, because he's got it. Then it's well, yeah. at that point. Which, which again, that's I, which a formula that works, <laughs> though. I would watch that. Like, how many slashers? We love slasher movies. We can't say we don't. Like, you know. Would we? <laughs> but will we not keep the, a robot element no, at no, all? No, fuck it. Like, that, that's what doesn't system. work about this movie. We would but, take but the title what, and nothing else but and be can like... You, a, can the, you do that with Chopping Mall? And, yeah. You know, people knowing what it is no. with robots and shit? Oh, oh, oh my God. This movie does not have that big enough of a following for people to give a fuck about a Chopping Mall. What are you remake? talking about? It was the first movie first. the best restaurant <laughs> put out. <laughs> oh, my it's God. Such, this movie has a following. I, I think there would be an expectation if you remade it that... Some sort in of a very robot. very small community, yes, there would be an expectation. An Your average person on the street right? is not going to know shit. Part of that small yeah. community, wouldn't you be upset? And I am part of that small community. I'm saying, go ahead and fucking do it. <laughs> I'm saying, if I'm I saying, make the movie I wanted to see. Chopping Mall, I would be. 
Um, to a certain degree, not like these fucking mad online internet people, but I would, to a certain degree, be a little upset. Like, oh, there's no robots yeah, in this movie. because I think that's the thing. It's like the name Chopping Mall now has the connotation of killer robot in a mall. I think yeah. that is what, you know, those, it's like. Which is so help. ass backwards to yeah. me. Like <laughs> right, that, right. you know. Well, why does Chopping Mall mean that? I just yeah. want the robots to chop people up. Is that so wrong? No, right, that's, I feel like that's what they're there. telling you is going to happen. I feel like the, it's a misrepresentation. This movie is like horrible marketing and you know yeah no, ex- it sets it sets the completely else. wrong expectations oh, yeah it wouldn't be good oh no make it make it like drones or something you know yeah, yeah. 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 i'm tired of drones yeah. like i don't fuck drones i don't want to watch a I, drone. I, I don't, don't, don't want to watch remake. a drone movie they did robocop yeah they drones. did that fucking sucked what no, if it's what? like i like that movie the remake of yeah. robocop there's a, it's going after a completely different thing. It's a, the, yeah. Oh my god. The, <laughs> the ending alone is so uh, 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 anticlimactic, uh, uh. Colin. How can well, okay, we're gonna discuss this off mic and I'm uh, gonna fucking berate you. What, what, if, movie. what if it's like those the things from my nightmares, the Boston Dynamics, like DARPA dogs? <laughs> the, what if it's those see, instead? That might be a better idea. Like the the, the fucking running. Yeah. Dear listener, yeah. if you have not heard of the Boston Dynamics DARPA fuck. dogs, go go YouTube it, and it, you won't sleep for days. If there's but. some version of that running around a mall, yeah, that's a fucking. Well, and movie. you know the latest version of them because you know every year they update them with yeah. like new skills, right? Yeah. So like the as of the time we were recording this, the latest version, which I don't know why I do this to myself, but <laughs> you keep watching <laughs> them. <laughs> I keep watching them. Yeah. Um, Just so you can have nightmares. One of them stands by we're a close track to yeah. make sure that we're still ahead of them. Yeah. As far as us uh, as people, I, w- I want to know. Like when do I panic? That's right, why I keep right, watching this. Right. Like when is it? You know, right. it still yeah. turns a corner too fast and falls down. Yeah. I'm still okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But the, these latest ones. First of all, there was two in this video, so I'm already yes. like, oh no. Is this like, one that calls the other one over to open the door? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Not okay. One is like, one. Oh, I can't do it. Come one, here. One of these DARPA dogs is waiting by a closed door, and it calls the other one over, and the other one opens the door all the way, and then the one that called it over waits till the door is completely open, and then goes through it. And I was like, yeah. oh my god, now they're talking to right, each other. Going to like die. yeah, now that was like because before it was just like look, it can walk on ice, it can jump on a table, and now right. it's like they can talk to each other and right. open mm. doors for it's each all other. All one mind. Yeah, right. this is the new child's play. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, this is exactly what the new child's play is going to be. Wi-Fi enabled. Yeah. As it, yeah, as it were. We hope. Okay, so uh, I mean, that, that kind of so we've talked a little bit so. about a uh, chopping mall, but we, you want to know what we actually think about chopping mall? Should you watch chopping mall? Right? Did we like your favorite movie or did we hate it? We're gonna find out. But first of all, we're gonna read some of your mail. This is the best part of the show. So first of all, let's call Igor, our mailman. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. Thanks. Thanks. Igor. He told me he wants to go to the mall soon. Should we? Do we take him? To, do we have to take him when it's closed? I think we gotta put like a cloak on him or something. To, right. Like, you hide know, him. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah right? He's know. going Halloween. He's gonna be yeah. our very yeah. like It's ET. the one day of year we can take him to the mall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this yeah. is our. Brother, Igor, yeah. Igor, what would you like to get? He just gets fucking Frankenstein shoes from some shoe store. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we should remind folks how they can write to us. They can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. <laughs> By Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. And Basin Voorhees writes in. What up? Basin. Uh, Basin wants to know if we still think that RoboCop is on the B team because uh, he oh, found yeah. a RoboCop t-shirt in an 80s VHS box next to John Claude Van Damme's Bloodsport at Target. Yeah, I was going to, I actually saw these myself and I got really excited because I saw Bloodsport merchandise in a store. So that was a right? thing. Oh, yeah, Target has these amazing, um, th- the box looks like an old VHS cover and they have t-shirts for all these different movies. They have like right. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. They have um, Beetlejuice. They have all kinds of stuff. Personally, I'm all for this, but yeah, no, it, I think they're great. But I, fun. I was just like, wait, so you have all these like A level movies like Beetlejuice and Fast Times at Ridgemont High and stuff like that, and then somehow Bloodsport got in there, and I was yeah. like, sure, yeah, let's right. do it. You know? Honestly, out of all this, Bloodsport's the B team movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably. In all of yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll change it. We'll promote. No, why not? We'll promote RoboCop. We're promoting RoboCop. I can't Ro- remember. Okay, RoboCop. For, uh, first how do we get? He was RoboCop. on the B team of '80s action. Like that was according to Tom. 
Uh, we no, were, I think we all said he was beating. Did we? Tom was well the major advocate. Did we all say that? We were talking about like times certain, change, Colin. Was it robots or I can't even fucking remember. You'd have to go back and listen. But it was like the Mount Rushmore of like oh a, uh, icons that would be known around the world. Oh, we were talking about. And that. we said like, RoboCop. You, like, if we, we, if we doubted, went down the street, if we showed a picture to people, would yeah. they know what it was? Would they know who RoboCop right. was. And now it's like, would a kid know what RoboCop is? Mm-mm. A kid. Well, what so kid? you're saying no, what, what, what kid? B-team. Yeah. What kid? How old are we talking? Is what I'm asking. Does your kid know what the Robocop looks like? No, he'd have to see Robocop. Yeah. No, you My kid's seven. But he knows Why what Frankenstein know what looks Robocop like. Is. And he knows probably what Freddy Krueger looks like. Or yeah. Yeah. Darth Vader. He knows what Darth Vader is. <laughs> BT. Well, yeah. he, can, he can identify Michael Myers. Yeah. He can identify yeah. Yeah. the scream guy. There you go. Yeah. Basically, all right. All right. he's all still right. on the B team. There you go. Yeah. Uh, still on the B team. <laughs> about chopping mall. <laughs> There's something a little more disturbing about a cop who gets his fucking arms and shit blown off and turns into well, a robot. Yeah. I think that's why it's not a kitty <laughs> thing. Yeah. No, it's not. And but nobody. That knows. happens but to Darth that, Vader but too. B team. <laughs> Dang. That no, it's the, re- it's the recognition factor. I think that's what we're talking about. Darth Vader's all stumps, man. Well, yeah, I agree. Yeah, but everybody that, recognizes that, that, that like face. Six movies in. Uh, so, Beam about Chopping Mall. B movie poster vault writes in and says, "This is a really fun '80s B flick. One I used to watch every so often back in the VHS days. I rewatched it this year with friends, and it was a real cr- crowd pleaser. Probably." One of Jim Wynorski's better flicks, too, as it actually feels like he was making something he was really enjoying as opposed to just getting boobs and monsters on the screen to make a quick profit. I think that's what he enjoyed. I think that's what I was yeah, right. I think that, right. that's what I he enjoyed. That's, so yeah, is, he getting for, boobs and monsters on the screen for a quick profit. <laughs> you described the same thing. Yeah, as a, I think he's a checklist for all of his movies, right? Boobs, right. But monsters, also, and that's, but that's it, right? But see, that's why he's living his best life because the things he's supposed to do are the things he wants to do. Yeah, but yeah. he also writes these, too. Right. I mean, he, like, he threw the script away for this or whatever and wrote a new version. Uh, yeah. He yeah. is a writer, director. I mean, he's a multi-hyphenate. Sure. Uh, Amos Martinez says, Chopping Mall is an awesomely stupid movie. You guys are going to love it. Chris Rudicus says, awesomeness to the very idea that we would be watching Chopping Mall. Uh, Joey Adams says, you are in for some great 80s cheesiness. Have fun. Uh, Grant Parrish believes that the women in the photos that we posted for Chopping Mall on Facebook were not wearing appropriate mall attire. He says, no wonder these robots are trying to kill them. But Nick Hammond disagrees and says, if you've been to a mall lately, she fits right in. And Lisa Padgett wants to know, where can one find this movie? We told her. Yeah, Prime. It's on Amazon Prime. It's also, uh, was it Tubi? And uh, Hoopla? The Hoopla. Yep, which you can cool. find at your library. Yep. Those things. Tubi's free, though, so. Tubi's free. Oh, with commercials. Yeah. I don't know but what yep. those are. Uh, these are the free apps that you have in your Blu-ray player or smart TV. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are they? You play, go down yeah, far pl- enough. Pl- your PlayStation will be like, you should download this shit. And I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, oh, well, there's free movies on here, so sure. sure I guess that's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This it's way, like when step below looking. Crackle. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> which, which we're already way down there for right, at Crackle. Which we all, already yeah. make fun of, yeah. so. Did, oh, I, was, I, I told Holly this off mic, but like, so I see commercials for Crackle a lot. Don't know why. Don't why? know what, what I'm are you watching. watching? Yeah. I've never crackle. seen a commercial I've never for Crackle. Seen a commercial yeah, for crackle. I, I, I don't know. I, I, you, I mean, maybe so maybe when comedians in cars getting coffee was No, no, no. Crackle. This is post that. Oh jeez. Cuz this is this is post them switching to Netflix, but uh I think it's because I I watch on a PlayStation and Sony owns Crackle, so I think that's that's, that's right. yeah. that is but, exactly. Um so I constantly am seeing commercials lately for that they have no country for old men and they're very proud of that, so they keep advertising <laughs> They have no country for old men and crackle. That movie is and eleven years. Holly had theorized that they like had like a like a jar at the at the crackle headquarters where they're all putting their quarters in to save up for no country for old men. And now that, that, <laughs> no, they finally got it. They're, oh, they're, we got a best picture winner. Yeah, we're doing yeah. good like after yeah. it's after it's video run and it's TV run and right. it's standard TV run. Yep. Crackle. 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 Yep. yep. Uh, about our last week's movie, Angel, Sean Roger writes in, says, I just watched Angel and I thought it was fantastic. The move and the pacing, mood and the pacing were a bit uneven, but it didn't ruin the movie for me at all. I wasn't expecting any laugh out loud moments either, but there were some genuinely funny points throughout. I can't believe I'd never heard of this one before. Thank you so much for bringing it to my attention. I really look forward to hearing what you guys think about it on this week's episode. He hasn't heard the episode yet. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's very true. <clears throat> I think a lot of the things he said was true. I yeah. think that there's like really great moments in that movie. Yeah. Like, like I told, I think I told Colin offline, like it was very close. Yeah. Uh, I, I was very that, on the fence. It was very, uh, very on the fence. 
about that movie. It had some um, great moments I did not and expect. Is that what and a saying? few, there's certain characters I really liked. Yeah. What was her, what was her May. name? Was it May? May? Yeah, May was like, is May's an all-timer for me. Mm-hmm. But uh, again, I'll stick by my review. All right. Yeah. Well, you'll have Close, to go listen to last no. week's episode to find out what Sean thought about Angel. Exactly. Uh, about our episode, No Holds Barred, Dom Cree writes in, Okay, so we had a question <laughs> that Dom's trying to help us out with because during the movie No Holds Barred, the wrestling movie with Hulk Hogan, uh, Hulk Hogan uses this uh, crazy. Uh, which we're all trying to do it. We're right all now. trying to do it, and it hurts. Hand signal, which is basically the Hang Ten Surfer signal, but you put your index finger knuckle halfway halfway up. up. This looks like an R, right? Kinda, which we said, yeah, yeah it kind of looks like an think, R. Like for rip. Like for if rip, you did this, rip them. they'd be an R. Yeah. But, that looks like an R. Uh, Dom Cree says that they probably didn't want to, or they probably didn't want to rip off Jimmy Superfly Snooka's uh, Snooka sign. If you look this up on Wikipedia, Snooka. the Snooka sign. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Jimmy Wrestling. Jimmy Superfly Snooka, yeah. So they said they had to drop this. a knuckle. He would do this and then mm-hmm. fucking jump off the top rope and... Yeah, because there's an action figure that Dom sent a picture oh, of. Did he? There's like somebody made a, a Jimmy snuck a action figure. Yeah, so we should get one that actually has uh, the Hulk Hogan, the Rip Thomas. Ooh, we thing. should find a Rip Thomas action figure. Oh Jesus! Uh, I'm so, sure it exists out there. Somewhere. But he says so. They uh, this is the predecessor to the NWO Wolf Hand Signal, no doubt. I'll be sorely disappointed if this hand signal isn't used as a secret knock to enter the deep, <laughs> dark basement gotta, each Saturday. I gotta disagree with Dom on this one. Because like the NWO one was like the Wolfpack thing, which was this. I you're you're talking to people who know nothing about this. Yeah, so. I was gonna say, I'm yeah, you're you pointing at me, like, Sean. I'm like, I have no fucking idea. Think, but like they did Wolfpack, which that looks like a wolf, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but yeah. that's a far cry from this fucking thing. So I I, I think I, they just needed something, would, and they were just like, "What's not taken?" Just like. Or, or yeah. is it like an injury and he cannot bend that finger all the way up? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but he does it with both hands, doesn't he, at some point? I don't, I don't know. It would be great if it was all just based on the fact that he couldn't straighten his index well, did, finger. Yeah. Did you guys ever watch Hogan Knows Best, his reality show? No. He, like, th- that show was mostly about him talking about his injuries and going to the doctor and like being like, yeah, people say wrestling's fake, but I have all these problems with my body. It was yeah. basically yeah. the whole reality show. Wrestling's yeah. not fake. We just mean people. scripted. It's, it's predetermined. But yeah. the yeah. athleticism yeah. is The injuries still, are real, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, well, Sean Stiff thinks that uh, the hand signal means hang extra loose. Just hang loose and hang, <laughs> hang extra, extra loose. loose. <laughs> and he said the, uh, hang the loose, extra hang knuckle. Extra loose. Yeah. The yeah. extra knuckle could mean Pontiac Silverdome. Sean, what the fuck's he talking about? I mean, there was a lot of uh, wrestling events held at the Pontiac Silverdome. I don't get it. It's kind of I don't I don't get how the hand gesture yeah. relates to it. Pontiac Silverdome. No, I don't understand no? that. I know that they held a lot of events there and it's a pretty famous place. All right, they should have just made it like that's like his secret handshake since his word is his bond. Like that's his like thing for yeah. like. Oh, so he hooks sig- like the, yeah, yeah, the pinky finger yes. together. Yeah, and that's how he does his word is his bond know. move. It just feels like an R, and I'll go with that. <laughs> rip, 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 rip. rip. I feel like that's yeah, it. Like, that, rip. Yeah. Yeah. Say that it's I, I think that's rip. it. Right. The yeah, common, rip. The, the, I think we figured out. The Ask me about my charity yeah. work. <laughs> uh, Nick Siebel writes in and says, after watching No Holds Barred, Hulk Hogan has to rank as one of the worst wrestlers turned actors ever. I yeah, he's the, bad. I put the emphasis on the wrong thing. The emphasis? Wrong, emphasis on the wrong, the wrong emphasis. Let me try it again. Hulk Hogan has to rank as one of the worst wrestlers turned actors ever. Yeah. That's probably better. No, he's uh, He says it makes Andre the Giant's performance in The Princess Bride nothing short of awesome. Yeah. No, that he's great in that movie. I, yeah. Hulk is bad in most things is kind of my thought. Yeah, like, I, but <laughs> I think he's bad in more watched, things than he's good uh, in. Uh, Mr. Nanny or uh, Suburban Commando. It's the same. A long time. But I can't imagine they're good. It feels like he's reading cue cards in all those movies, too. How did I miss all of these great thespian classics? <laughs> or uh, Three Ninjas at yeah. High Mount, Rock and Mount, Mount yeah, okay. or whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> Three uh, Ninjas at Mega Mountain, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that it? Something like yeah. that. Or like, yeah. yeah. Well, well, Ryan Handsome Jansen says uh, that, that. Are you handsome? The jury's maybe still out on that one. I don't know. He wants to know, or no, he says, I reckon that Joan Severance, that's the co-star of oh, No yeah, Holds Barred, had cold shivers whenever she had to get close to Hulk Hogan. Probably. Is cold shivers good or bad? I think that's bad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I so, mean, I would want to be that close to Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, we posted a photo of <laughs> what the, what uh, the jerking the off push-up scene. The, yeah. Skin of a hot dog. Skin of a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a hot dog. Yes. Woo. Well, that leads us to the moment. Like a gas station hot dog, all too. Been right, yeah. Waiting. It's been on that roller for a while. Hulk, <laughs> Hulk's been on that roller for a while. The He's still on that roller. Can't go on forever. The man is not white. Yeah. Some, he never has yeah. been. No. Uh, all right. So that, uh, we're, 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 well, thank you for writing in. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, yes, and we hope you'll submit your <laughs> movie done. suggestions what for uh, right for there? our January episodes. Oh, yeah, uh, please. But first, now, we're going to go around the room and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Chopping Mall. Colin. Yeah, Sean. Uh, what did you think about tonight's movie, Chopping Mall? Um, so, I've, uh, thank you for bringing this movie to the freak show. First of all, I have because to, uh, yeah, because I hadn't seen it. No. I hadn't seen it. Michaela's is the only one who's seen it. Yeah. How long ago did you watch this, Michaela? Mm, like three or four years ago. Okay. See, because. First time watching yeah. three or four? Okay. Yeah. Well, I've 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 come to you know like, I mean, of '80s movies, I've seen an awful lot of them, right? Uh, and I think I have. Yeah, I mean, you a, you did live through the that's 80s, right. So. I lived through it, so I have that edge up, right? That I saw a lot of these movies and then went back and watched the ones that I hadn't seen. I mean, this is like a lifelong project that I've been undertaking. I'm not done yet. You better write a book. Going back and watching all these '80s movies that I've missed. Um, there's a reason that I missed Chopping Mall. The first time around was because, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I saw pictures of the robots. I thought they looked dumb. Uh, and the whole idea of knowing who it was from and all this other stuff. And it's like, yeah, I can probably skip Chopping Mall. And so, Sean, of course, now, whatever, 30, 40 years later, what are we really? Like, we're coming in on the. Tony just up to 40. Yeah. I was born in 80s. Yeah, it's 32, yeah. 32 yeah. years 32 later. Years. This uh, is that's the right, year of you my said birth. Phantasm is at 40. And yep. Star Wars wow. is after is like yep. 41, wow. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Phantasm is um, about to hit 40. Yeah. yeah. We're old. We get it. So uh, now I've finally seen Chopping Mall. And um, yeah, it. Um, Did it live up to it, Colin? No, not really. Because I guess. Well, I mean, it. I suppose it met my expectations of what it was going to be, which is why I've avoided it, you know, because right. it's not, uh, it doesn't distinguish itself really. I mean, it, it's, <clears throat> how am I trying to say this? It's got, uh, it's not funny enough, like unintentionally funny to be one of those kind of classics that you go like, Oh my God, look at this crazy movie. Right. It's right. low budget and poorly, uh, executing, I guess it doesn't have the ideas. I mean, you were even saying, Sean, during, while we were watching the movie, it's like the dialogue is perfunctory, you know, yeah. kind of it's people saying stuff to each other that either advances the plot or they're saying nothing to each other. They're saying nothing. Also, <clears throat> I say plot, but I mean, right sure, there, we right. should be laughing our asses off at that whole idea. There is no plot. No. It also <clears throat> tends to do the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Even though we've seen it like, all right, it didn't work the first time. Why are we doing this again? Yeah. Let's spend five minutes shooting at a robot when we just did it. Yeah. We saw it didn't work. So let's just keep doing it again. But it doesn't They even, have no new ideas it, going it, forward. Yeah, there's no new ideas. They don't do anything clever. The gore is underwhelming. I mean, if they had awesome kill scenes. I mean, yeah, there's a, a decent, you know, uh, exploitation boob ratio. Right. In the first, you know, like uh, 30 minutes in the movie. But that goes away. Yeah, I mean, then eventually, because I think that's generally how those movies do, and that's why you give them points if somehow they figure out a way to have more boobs, like, in the second and third right, half. Right, later on, yeah. Because you're like, what, this shouldn't be here. Uh, so this is, like, still playing it basically <laughs> according to... Yeah, but you're playing it basically according to, like, the, the rule of thirds. Um, and it was, like... Yeah, you know, because basically, you get boobs, boobs in the front right, half third, and third, the third, violence right. and the gore in the, in the, the back half. Um and so this was kind of like, okay, yeah. And uh, the special effects were like, I don't know. I mean, just everything was really underwhelming. It felt like a movie that was made quickly to cash in on the success of Terminator. Um, the characters are, you know, stock. There was nothing really to take out of it. And then the mall didn't look attractive. You know, like a mall should look good, I think, or something. But it didn't look... It wasn't lit well or shot right. well. It's like there was no concept of like, and but that could be. It's a combination of the uh, the director and the cinematographer, but probably on the lighting cameraman, the cinematographer. It's like he clearly was like just out of film school or something. I'm sorry if you weren't, sir, but <laughs> that's what it feels like. It's like we got a camera, we're gonna go make a movie, and we're just gonna set it up wherever and get these shots. And it was kind of like, 
Okay. So, I mean, visually, it doesn't look appealing. Like I said, the robots, to me, that design, uh, you know, it, I mean, it's not the ray gun gothic stuff of like the, you know, the, the futuristic stuff from the, what would that be? The pre-80s era, you know, like the 40s and 50s and whatever. Right. And then you have like the sleeker stuff of the now, and you've seen that so much that it's kind of ruined, I guess, going back and looking at uh, at Killbots for me. So, I mean, basically, it looks kind of like, um, you remember the, the truck in Metal Storm that also had that kind of, yes. it was that same kind of <laughs> underwhelming. Boxy look. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what I thought of mm-hmm. while I was watching these robots, uh, except they had the Cylon heads on them, you know, right. so I, mm-hmm. I saw it. Yeah, I don't know. I was just uh, underwhelmed, and uh, I mean, I guess we had kind of a good time watching it, so I mean, it's not a total failure, but I don't think I'd recommend it to you. I think, you know, you'd be better off watching something that's better than this, so, uh, and I think probably... You know, is this Jim Wynorski one of his most recognizable movies? Because like we said, you know, you start off making these uh, theatrical films and then you end up, you know, going to video on the sci-fi channel. So maybe this is one that he's well known for. Obviously, there's a cult following from uh, and I get it. You know, I've seen movies when I was younger and you still want to see them now to, to for the nostalgia of it. I don't have nostalgia for this movie. And so, therefore, it didn't, uh, as a as a modern viewer watching it, then it was like, yeah, I think you can skip uh, Chopping Mall. Michaela, what do you think? I, I think that it doesn't use being in a mall to its full advantage. Um, being in a mall, like, you really have a chance to explore some surreal situations that you don't have in everyday life because you have access to, like... Um, all these different small versions of everything, right? Like, right. Why Sample would, sizes of life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You can't rip off Dawn of the Dead, or can you? Well, that's the thing. Why yeah, wouldn't you? Dead. You should. Honestly, if you're making these types of movies, you should. Like, right. like we talked about, this is not they're shameless. They're shamelessly ripping with, off other why movies. Not just rip it off? Yeah, but like, why was there no gross like? nachos or like food court scene why did i not see some like orange julius or some sort of fucking 80s food court anything um well, there was at the beginning the massive the, hot dog yeah the Coke montage and all that right. yeah that was like, just gross in the mall it was like whatever. yeah the whole the, the credits were gross most of this mall. movie the credits like there was credits at the beginning and then there was picture credits at the end the credits were probably a decent chunk of this movie considering it's only like what like 76 minutes or something yep. right so like but yeah, the credits was the mall when it's open, and then like the rest of the movie takes place when the mall's closed. But I don't know, like Saved by the Bell did an episode where they stayed overnight in a mall that was way yeah, more interesting. I, yeah, I would rather go back and watch that. Yeah, they they slept in tents in they a did. sporting goods store. Like, why not just do things like that? Like, like they started with it with the furniture store, and then they just left it at I that. I give it to you that the furniture store was the only set they were allowed into. The rest of it, you had yeah. to film the whole thing yeah. in the center of the mall. Right. Yeah. The stores were like, as long as you keep out of our store. Right, because the yeah. other stores were like, no, we're, we're yeah. just going to close down. Yeah. We're not doing this. At the sporting goods store. They went into that That's at true. some point. Yeah, but that is also specific because it was Peck and Paw's sporting goods. Right, so it was exactly. Like made specifically for it, I think. Because I think yeah. that was part of the budget was all the guns and everything. Like I think oh, they yeah. I think that they was made, an empty store that they right, just made. Yeah, I think they yeah. made it a sporting goods yeah. store. That did not exist yeah. beforehand, yes. Yeah, but yeah, the poster, the title is all misleading. This should be intruder in a mall and it's not. Um Maybe if it was called Killbots, I would like it more because my expectations would be where they should be. <laughs> so the, you're the opposite of the <laughs> audience that first came in. Yeah, because I'm just like, I'm like chopping mall and I see that poster of like all those organs in a fucking chopping bag and I'm like, sweet. Right. I want I want a machine that is set up to mechanically wrap your presence that goes crazy at one point and, and just, just like chopping yeah. things up and the, then a human gets caught in there and starts chopping them up. I would almost I would almost venture to say like... This movie, I mean, there's way more boobs than there is gore in this movie. And, like, I feel like there is a really easy way you could make this a kid-friendly movie because it is so light on the gore, I feel like, in a lot of instances. Like, it's just blood coming out of the mouth or blood coming out of, like, a small part of their body. But it's, like, aside from the head blowing up, that's the really only real moment of gore, I feel like. Uh, It's like a diet TV version of a cooler movie that could exist, and I'm all for a remake. So I would pass on Chopping Mall. There's there's some '80s cheese, but it's it's too light on the cheese to make it entertaining. I agree with Colin said like it's not unintentionally hilarious enough to be like a good midnight movie. Mm -hmm. Even it doesn't cross into either territory far enough. Mm -hmm. So I would pass on it. Sean, yeah, because they're still trying to go really serious with those guys just 
packing heat and trying to blow up a robot at some their point. Rambo moment. Yeah, the, yeah, which they try and have like a couple times. Like they're really going for it, and I think the repetition is what kind of wears you. To, it, for a movie that's only 70, 76 minutes long, uh, the repetition of certain scenes kind of like it wore me down. I'm just like, well, we saw this. Like, are we not? It doesn't advance upon. It doesn't use any of its environment or characters in like interesting ways. Like considering where they're at in a mall or being attacked by robots. Um, it basically has one idea and just keeps going with it and keeps going with it and keeps going with it. Um, it is like Colin said, underwhelming, uh, considering we have no nostalgic like reference point for this movie. Like we never, no, me and Colin never watched this back when we were kids. <coughs> Jeez. Uh, even Michaela came to this, <laughs> even Michaela came to this recently um, so, like, this n- nostalgia is not there, and I guess it's like an experiment to see, like, how we feel about this type of movie when we have no reference for it from way back in the day. Um, uh, it apparently does have a really big effect because, it's like, it's not effective on us. Um, yeah, it's not, uh, it doesn't do enough. Um, I don't know. I think you would have had to have watched this when you were younger or way back in the day in order for it to be still a thing that you want to go back to. Um, and that you have feelings about because well, not, uh, just it just crossing my mind. The uh, Demons was a movie that was made right. the same year, right? Okay. But when I saw that on the freak show, I was like, I needed to go out and get a copy of that movie. I, you it's know, it's like, that's so there are movies from that era that still like oh, you can watch sure. without the nostalgia that you're Had like, Have you not seen it before we watch it? Which Demons, like. In the 80s, you yeah, know, and don't right. remember it like as clearly as like right. watching at that time was like, oh my God, this fucking thing is awesome and right. I got to go get it. You know, that's what you're looking for. I would kind well, of yeah. because I, I saw that and I was just like, holy shit, this like that. Cause same demons, year. Yeah, it was same year. Demons <laughs> yeah. was just like, oh, Jesus, like demons made me feel things. And it's just like, that's disturbing. And I, it, it makes me feel weird. Well, even Colin, just like this past year, you've brought a number of movies from like the the 80s that I had never seen before that I'm like I need to own now like the blob sure. like I, that was something I had never seen before that I was like I can't believe I passed sure. this so up like, Night right. of the Creeps I was like I can't believe I've never seen this before this movie's incredible right. like so things like that yeah. yeah it's just this but this doesn't the idea sorry, is no it's it's fine, no, commi- it doesn't I commit agree. enough yeah no it doesn't it does like the idea doesn't go beyond like the idea states it's like killer robots in a mall hunting kids and that's the basic idea it states, and it doesn't go beyond that, or it doesn't do anything inventive with that, or it's just like it keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again, and it gets boring. And that's really saying something for a movie that's only 76 minutes long. It's just like, wow, this felt longer because they keep doing the same thing over and over again. Um, there's not enough in this movie for me to recommend it, I don't think. Yeah, it, it doesn't get inventive enough for its, you know, for its premise. So, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to pass on Chopping Mall. I'm glad I get to check it off the list. So I can always yeah, say yeah, yeah. I saw Chopping Mall. Yep. But after I get past that conversation with people, it's going to be like, I saw Chopping Mall. I don't like Chopping Mall. Yeah. So I think there it is. Like, they don't do enough with the concept. And, I, you know, that's a, a failure on this movie's part. So skip Chopping Mall. All right, that's it. it. That's the final word on final word uh, from now until forever on the chopping ball. Sorry for those of you who watched it prior to the uh, the show. Well, maybe you liked it. I mean, a lot of that's it's a really short movie. Yeah, but everybody everybody on this is like, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, It's great. And we must pose the question: When's the last time you watched it? Well, Well, and I think your expectations might have been different. too. Or is it the memory of nostalgia? Yeah. In which case, I'm sure you know. Like everything we discussed, like guilty pleasures. I mean, I didn't hate it. It just wasn't what I wanted. It just wasn't what I wanted. That's all. Yeah. But yeah, it has. You know, it has cool things about it, but it it, it just it, wasn't what I wanted, and it wasn't what I was told I was going to get. Right. You know, and it yeah. was funny when they blew her head up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We all like that. Yeah. That that was cool, but was more cool. more of that, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go bigger, like <laughs> that's spice. your base. Go beyond yeah. it. Yeah. Exploitation spice. spice. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that means that uh, next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Holly. Holly, what are we watching next week? Do your best Holly impression, Colin. <laughs> all right I we're, lo- we're all Don't looking at the empty Holly. chair right now <laughs> yeah. uh so holly's not here but she did say that she is recommending for our viewing pleasure 
I have never seen this movie, I've so never seen it okay. Oh, so we don't know. Nope. Never uh, seen only it. Sean has seen it, so he, only you know if yeah. it is a freak show movie because it doesn't feel like it is. I got to tell you, this is like the days of Home Alone and The Princess Bride <laughs> are coming back. I'm having flashbacks. Oh no! We are going to watch the Chuck Norris motion picture extravaganza. Now that's saying a, that's, I know because everybody's like it's missing it. missing an action writer. You're going to do something cool now. We're going to do it's stretching it to say it's a Chuck Norris movie. I and mean, he's in it. But, oh, but, well, well, you know. It's sidekicks. Sidekicks. I know. Tune in next week, listener. I know the excitement oh, is. Break some bricks with fire. Does he? At least there's some Chuck Norris shit in it. There's something? Something for me to hang out to? <laughs> You'll find out next okay. week. Okay. <laughs> next week on Saturday Night Freak Show. Maybe we'll turn Colin, around. I haven't seen it. So, yeah. So much. That's uh, Michaela and I have not seen it. Yeah. And so only Sean and uh, Holly have. So maybe it, it will be a fantastic experience. You will have to uh, watch it along with us and find out. Tune in next week as we review Sidekicks on the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. And until then, the basement is going dark.